Alright, so starts day one of Nationals. Ooh, train. Yeah, there we go. And we're on our way to the play area. We registered yesterday. Well, me and Mike. His dad is judging. We met up with Judger. Oh, he's, he's doing side events. Okay. And then right now, got my bro's guitar on. You know that means it's game time. And we are going to be on our way to the convention center. Well, we're in the convention center, but we're on our way to the, uh... Well, it's just going to be quicker if we go down the stairs. Yeah. We don't have to wait for the elevator. The elevator. Yeah, they come from the elevator. You want like half the competition or people in heels. Yeah. I'm going to say it's looking for it. Well, the other half will be playing dark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Taking tripping. Alright. We got a long way to go. So I guess we'll I guess I'll do an update there. I was planning on just having this on while we go there, but it's gonna take too long. Alright, that's the entrance to Pokemon US National Championships. Either waiting for it to die down or waiting for the list to go up so I know what seat I'm sitting in to hand in my deck list. All my friends here, Adrian just finishing up her deck list. Perfect time to do it. Michael, what are you be doing? Winning. That's right. Noah will be winning until he gets to you. <laughs> I will be winning. All day. And everybody else? Uh, everybody else? Everybody else will be losing. Yeah. Everyone else will lose. Eventually. To me. <laughs> so. Seeing a lot of people. There's, there's another broski running around. I can't have this. this is, yeah. I'm coming for him. I told him to his face. I'm coming for him. <laughs> That would be an epic first round if I faced him. So, there's that. Good. Hopefully I take out the other broski early because there's only room for one. There can only be one. I can <laughs> only be one! Yeah. And I'm sitting down, waiting for them to collect the deck list, so I'll get a shot of the room. Very nice. Nice shot of Pikachu's ass. I am in the yellow flight. Yes, yeah, pretty large room, mostly players. Mostly tables for players. We're supposed to be starting soon, and uh, there are no numbers around here. I'm supposed to be at table 17 in the yellow flight. There are no numbers in the yellow flight, so I don't know where I'm supposed to sit, so I'm sitting here. Oh well. Deck lists are handed in, and right now just waiting for pairings. They announced how many for each division and total are going to be. It's over 1,500 total, and 1,005 for Masters. That is the most anything that I've ever done out of the water for a trading card game anyway. And it's, apparently that's the record for these guys also. So... What I can do now is all I can do is wait, wait for it to uh, wait for the parents. All right, first round of nationals is over. I go up against a Zekrom Eels deck with Mewtwo, and I get a great start. Turn two, Vileplume. I still have targets in there by turn two. Next turn, I eek to get more energy, and from there, I lock them out of the game. Knock out the. Zekrom, knock out the eel, and then finish off the Mewtwo. Game, set, match. For having one of the slowest decks in the format, I finish very quickly in one of the first. It's like four turns. That doesn't happen with my deck. I didn't, you didn't take a prize. You didn't, well, you did attack. Oh, it's twice. Oh, that they weren't calling me. Alright, to find Michael and see what's going on. Alright, round 
round two is over. I had a very good match. Once again, I get the turn two bio bloom. This time, my artist find a friend. So he takes a knockout, but I have another artist on the bench. Send up, I think, my Tyro, because that's free retreat, and I had a collector. I red candy, which I had in my hand, to the other bio bloom. Bam. Tur turn two lock. But I'm already down a prize, and I haven't even lost on anything yet. So I start getting my loss zone up. He's able to just start taking shit out with uh, Tarakion. And by the time I get my lock set up, he's taking four prizes. But that's okay. I start coming back. I get it down to we're both even at two. And I miss a flock. So I'm like, fucking shit. So he takes a prize there. I get the lock going again, but time is called. And he decides to swap out Tornado CX. I'm not able to score a knockout. And he's still in the lead. He has one prize left, I have two. So I lose the time because I can't knock out his Tornado CX in two turns, which is impossible with the Mew deck. So I lose. Two time. My deck's only weakness. If that game would have continued, I would have easily won that. Even if it was just like a five more minutes, I would have I would have won. But lunch break now. Time to find the rest of the crew, see how they did. I don't know where they are. Let's get some of the scenery. They just announced lunch break, so let's see if we can find the crew. Oh, there he is. The other Zack Ryder guy, he's in the other flight, lucky for him. There's only one room for Broskis, and that's me. So he's got, the, he's got the blue flight, and I got the yellow flight. All right. Where is my crew? Can you text me back? Text me during my match. I don't even know where they are. I'll use the zoom to see if I can find them. Nope. Well, I see Bob. Alright. That's not working. Oh, there's... Right in front of me. Not sure why. Snivy's over there behind that. Oh, oh Tepig's over there too in Pikachu. Sweet. Oh, that's... Is that a statue? Are people in there, or is it just statues? Oh, there is someone in there. <laughs> but they can't see anything. There's no, there's no eye hole. Yeah. Well, they kind of look like they, they were just st standing uh, flushes, but they can move, so I guess there are people in there that just can't see. Sucks to be them. I imagine it's really hot in there. All right, I'll turn the camera off, see if I can find my crew, and we're going to go out to lunch, because we only got an hour. Oh well. Alright, round three is over. I go up against our Rushy Flosion deck. Where did that come from? Well, I get set up. And I get myself moving. Moving along. I miss the double freeze, quad tails in early game. I fall further behind in prizes. I notice my opponent is playing very slowly. And I just don't have the balls to call a judge. I tell him to pick it up a little too late. And then, right when I was about to say something again, time is called, and can't catch up. So fucking pissed. I'm so fucking pissed right now. That's two times I lost to time. Both times my opponents were playing slowly. The first one I let slide because it was close anyway, but this one, that was just inexcusable. I should not have lost that game. Should not have lost the second round, should not have lost this round. I was fully set up, ready to just steamroll, and of course, my opponent slow plays and stalls the fucking clock in time. No more Mr. Nice Guy. If someone's playing slow on me, I'm calling the judge right away. Fuck that. I'm sick of losing to time. Alright, round five is over. I go up against, uh, what was it? Another CMT deck. Hey, Michael, how'd you do? I must be Valerina because I have a 2 2. Oh, right, you won. I was just about to go into my match summary. I went up against another CMT deck. He leads with Shaman. I have Mew and Oddish. 
He goes first, of course, again. I draw. He catches up my Oddish and passes. He can't attack. Next turn, I I uh, usually get a Sage. Sage is training. In there, I find a Rare Candy, Bio Bloom, Vanilla Ox, and two other cards. And, my, and a uh, Flower Shop Lady's in there, too. It's like, okay, I have no idea if one of my Vanilla Ox surprised. So I'm going to take the Rare Candy Bio Bloom and ditch the rest. So I ditch the Vanilla Ox and my Flower Shop Lady. I'm getting to it. I'm doing the video report, remember? Oh. And I attach the energy to the artist, the psychic energy, and I just decide to pass. Thinking that, alright, he might get a junk arm, catch it up again, and then I'm screwed again, and I can't see off next turn. Potential assignment players for modified assignment 17. Uh, Ready card for event 17, already begin. Right. So next turn, he pulls something amazing out of his ass. And I mean That's amazing. It hurt me. He he level balls to a sh uh, to a Celebi. Yeah, to to a Celebi. Plays a switch, puts the Celebi active. Four is breaths onto the Shaman. Attaches manual attach to the Shaman. Plays another switch. Plays a plus power. Knocks out my Amish. I'm looking at like, how the fuck was I supposed to anticipate that? So I'm uh, pretty much stuck there, but I'm able to play twins. And at this point, I should have gotten two Oddishes, because I had the Rare Candy Bio Plume in my hand, and it's at this point I realized my other Vanilla is surprised. And I'm like, fucking ass. And I just, I should have gotten two Oddishes, had I known that what little Cartier was left, he had another catcher. And I just decided to get one Oddish and an energy to attach to Mew, so that I could send a Pheasant to the wall so which is what I do. Next turn, catches up Oddish, gets a Tornado CX out, with Sky Arrow Bridge, takes out the Oddish. So, so I'm down two prizes already. And from there, you not, uh, you get another Oddish. It's like, okay, there's no way you can get another catcher. I twins into the last Oddish and a Flower Shop Lady. So I was like, okay, I can get more Oddishes back in and I get my Vanillax back in. Catch her again. Catch her again. Play Oddish. Did he play in? No. Oh. And then he knocks it out. So okay, send up the mute. Play Flower Shop Lady. And I play two Pokemon Communications. No, play one. I get the Oddish back out. I was thinking, okay, now he can't get I have another one. Then I see then I see off my vanilla. So okay, at least I can attack next turn. Next turn, junk arm catcher. Knocks off the Oddish again. Next turn, play collector. Two Oddish. And uh, I think a Victini, something like that. So you lost. Yeah, I lost. Actually no, I, I couldn't even do that. Because I had the flower shop. No, I, I got Yes. I forgot exactly what I did, but I was only able to get one out of the shop. Because I needed an energy to attack, so instead of collecting, I pumped it. But I already play, I played a communication to get an auto shop. Played it, I was able to attack. I didn't have a Victini out, so I went for double freeze, double tails. So, oh, what? Next turn, junk arm, catcher, Oddish, kill. I go again. I was like, okay. Uh, I forgot what I did to get another Oddish, but I did. And then I haunted. But got the Red Candy Fire Plume in my hands. Like, okay, I need to paralyze now. Double freeze, double tails. Again. Next turn, catcher, Oddish. Fifth Oddish knocked out. Then from there, okay, let me try to double freeze again, maybe stay in this game a little longer, get my last Oddish out. And of course, double tails again. I lose. I'm pissed. Yeah, I'm pissed. That almost a bad luck, but at least it was a legit loss, instead of going to time. So, okay. This pretty much made up my mind, I'm playing the video game tomorrow, no matter what. Next time I'm just gonna, next round I'm just gonna have fun. 
fifth and final round for me is over. Finally, the deck like works like I was supposed to. Go up against a dark. Hey, Michael, randomly run into you. How'd you do? Uh, I lost. It was straight dark, right? Oh, I won. The deck finally worked like it was supposed to. I, I, yeah. Then I dropped. <laughs> It, it worked. I went up against a Darkrai deck with an Espeon. Why? Why was there an Espeon in that deck? So you can't paralyze it? Yeah. But I got I knocked out a Darkrai before she can get the Espeon out. I saw the Eevee and was like, don't tell me it's Espeon. But I got the train to lock up. She wasn't able to get it out before I knocked out her first Darkrai with my Ruins of Alpha in play, of course. So then she gets the Espeon out. It's like, okay, fuck. But... I can still use fly and get the effect, which is what I did for a lot of it. So I did that, and eventually I just ended up winning because the only thing with energy she had, I knocked out with B Create Victini, which was a Terrakion. And then from there she sends out the last Dark Cry. Dracula B Create Victini? Yeah. I softened it up with Mew first. And it had an Evolite on it too, from before the trainer lock. But anyway. There was no reason for me to take the V Create Victini out, so two turns I killed that Dark Rai EX with V Create and took the game. So look at that. Good finish. But, oh, this, they give it out? Oh, yeah, when we get the t shirts, right? Did you get your t shirt? Yeah. I need to do that, but first I need to sign up for the video game. Is this for the video game? Nope, that's for the t-shirts. Yeah, I'm get online now. Yeah, I'm going to sign up for the video game first. Then I'll do this. I've got time to do this. Yeah. All right, so I'll be doing that. And so far, that's it for my trading card game run. And are you, yeah, you're staying in it, right? All right. I can still make up. Yeah, you can. If, if you went out. If you went out, yeah. All right. All hope is not lost. I'm giving up on trading card. You're not. No, I can't do video game for the second. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Plus, I have the Professor Cup tonight. So I'm gonna have videos on that too. So as far so as far as the TCG main event goes, my run is over. I get two more tournaments to go in, and after that, that's well, that's that to look forward to.